Udo swears in two new members of state executive council. An unbrasted government seals Nabit Hospital Amansi over illegal medical activities. President Buhari jets to London for King Charles III coronation. Russia accuses Ukraine of attempted drone attack in Kremlin. Before the news in detail, here's a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turn around maintenance of the Nambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and welcome to the news. My name is Uchechuku Ebonam. Mr. Christian Udechuku has been sworn in as a commissioner for industry under Governor Chukuma Soludo. Government House correspondent EGK Abana filed the report. Mr. Everest Oba was also sworn in as special advisor to the governor on trade and market. This very new ceremony which took place at the executive chambers of Government House Oka was witnessed by the governor and members of Anambra State Executive Council. By the ceremony, the duo were officially inducted as members of the council, rolling out his charge to the new inductees. Governor Soludo revealed that their appointment is a call to duty and service to the people. The governor reminded them that his administration is focused on disruptive transformational change at all levels, stressing that his administration is passionate about its goal and asked them to strive to pay the sacrifice which will eventually translate to public good and impact they will leave behind. Our answers one for that dominant that was essentially on the transformational side. Our goal to be able to deliver and prosperous homeland is one that we are very, very passionate about. And it will require people actually paying to serve. That is what we are here, call it the disruptive and transformational uh, administration. And welcome to that team. Recall that on April 21st, 2023, Governor Soludo announced the appointment of Mr. E. Christian Idechuku as the new commissioner for industry in Mr. Obin Nangona's state, after which he was duly confirmed by the State House of Assembly. In the quest to complement the Anambra State Government's effort in providing education for the Anambra Osnan Academy, a free secondary school for indigent students, will be flagged off in September this year. This was revealed by a member of the Governing Board of Chude and Ego Foundation, Professor Maris Umego, when a team from the school paid a cut to call to the Anambrasid Commissioner for Education, Professor Ngozi Chumode, at her office in Oka. Correspondent Queen and Bob will cover the report. So Mego, who said that they came to intimate the commissioner about the school and seek for our support, they saw that Osnan Academy is one of the projects being carried out by Chude and Ego Foundation for the service of humanity. He further explained that the school is a completely free boarding secondary school for boys and girls who are from indigent families within Oga community and environs and will take off in September this year with JSS1 students. This is unique the school by its nature. So to that extent, it is a gap and it will be a first class school as will be vindicated when we reach the exam classes. Speaking on the what Osnan Academy will do differently from other schools, the principal, Mr. Rize Uzo Ebunam, noted that apart from being a free school run by a foundation, it intends to give quality education to indigent students with concentration in rural areas. He also mentioned how the school will operate and the entrance requirements and emphasized that they will build a stronghold and franchise that will make the school attractive to people. We intend to gather the best brains in the school and we will concentrate on communities where there is limited access to qualitative education. Responding, the Commissioner for Education, Professor Chu Maude, appreciated the foundation, saying that Osnan Academy is a wonderful initiative and told the team that they can count on her for support. She pointed out that the most important thing is to get the school registered, adding that the director of schools is available to give them the guidelines in that regard. I am so amazed at what they have been able to put together. We pray that this school we yield students who are worthy of all these efforts being put in place. 
you can count on our support. The high point of the visit was the presentation of the Osnan Academy pamphlet to the Education Commissioner. Queen Anibogo, ABS News. An embrace government has permanently sealed off St. Norbert Hospital, Amansi, in Okanos local government area over quackery and illegal medical services to people in the area. A team from the State Ministry of Health, led by the State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Afamo Bidike, permanently sealed off the state hospital after some background investigations on the illegal activities in the facility by one Dr. Kingsley. Correspondent Emmanuel Okongwo tells us more. During the exercise, it was observed that the environment of the said hospital was not health friendly. The wards, including the surgical ward, was nothing to write home about, both in cleanliness and equipment wise. Speaking shortly after sealing off the facility, Commissioner Obidike expressed dissatisfaction with the activities of quack health care givers in the state, saying that the state government, through his health ministry, is continuously fighting quackery in the state's health system. I will not take it lightly with any unprofessional health care giver operating in the state. He explained that the state government, through prior investigation, discovered that a lot of persons have lost their lives at the St. Norbert Hospital, Amansi, which he said is not registered with the government, saying that government will make sure that the said quack doctor and others are brought to book in no time on completion of necessary investigations. Commissioner Bidike said that the government of Professor Chukwu Masoludo is currently working towards strengthening health system of the state as a way of restoring people's confidence in government-owned hospitals and disclosed that the government is about to institute an Umbra State Health Facilities Monitoring and Accreditation Agency, an agency he said will be responsible for the monitoring of activities of healthcare personnel, hospitals, and as well get responses from the masses on health service issues in their localities. People to always call on the ministry. Whenever they have a suspect of a hospital, they think is practicing below the standard. So that will be some of the digital mortality that have cost the people. But that's why we are here. We want to track down, we want to track uh, all the Confirming the quack health care services to the people in the area by the said Dr. Kinsley, one of the villagers who spoke off camera alleged that the people have repeatedly lost their loved ones in the said hospital owing to unprofessionalism and lack of necessary medical equipment, saying that she shared in the ill experience when she nearly lost her own son there and called on the government to permanently close the hospital to save people from untimely death. Another villager who also spoke off camera claimed that she knew the said Dr. Kinsley when he was operating at Ifitogwari in Aya Melmuluku government area until he was driven out by the villagers because of quack health care services, which led to his relocation to Amansi community. The commissioner later visited Amansi Primary Health Center, where he encouraged the health workers in the facility to up their game and render better services to the people. From Amansi, in Oka North local government area, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo, reporting for ABS News. Anambra State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, has advised riverine communities in the state to prepare for this year's flooding. Executive Secretary of the agency, Chief Paul Denibo, advised an early warning interactive sensitization meeting for flood-prone local government areas in the state. Our correspondent, Chibuzo Obidike, has the details. Event tagged make we stop flood before flood go finish us. Sensitize the people on the dangers of irregular waste disposal and the importance of regular clearing of water channels. Speaking at the various council areas visited, Chief Odenibo said the visit is a collaborative movement to mitigate and avert losses of life and property through the adequate coordination and to issue an early warning. 
He referred to the February 17th annual flood outlook for the year by the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, as the foundation for their planning. Chief Odenibo pointed out that it is high time riverine communities embark on annual care of their farms through early planting and harvesting, caring for their environment, building on government-approved areas, relocation of valuable properties, and ensuring good health conditions before, during, and after the rainy season. The SEMA boards also advised all relevant frontline responders to intensify their efforts to carry out early warnings targeting vulnerable communities and evacuation to a higher ground for safety. To sensitize the people, tell the people of the area what is likely to happen this year with regards to weather, flooding and weather view. The second stage of it is to prepare grounds where they will have, where they will be evacuated in the event of this flood. As usual, provide for them, give them accommodation by allocating them to various camps, give them food and basic amenities of life for the period they will be in the camp until the water descends. Receiving their visitor, the Transition Committee Chairman for Anambra Waste, Mr. Felix Okechi, and his Anambra East counterpart, Dr. Anselm Onwara, recalled the suffering of the residents during flooding, including loss of life and property, farm produce, among others, and promised to carry out the campaign to all nook and crannies of the community for early preparation. Uh, we are going to take this message down to the grass, every community and every ward. The Igwe's are here, the councillors are here, the PG's are here, and we ensure that this message will be disseminated to every of these communities to ensure that whatever precaution we need to take will be taken in the time. traditional ruler of Umumbo, Igwe Ikech Huchidubem, and his Nzam counterpart, Igwe Joseph Azohu, insisted that it will be right for the federal government to build permanent internally displaced persons camps and warehouses closer to the people, as many are afraid of leaving their homes. They also called for dredging of the River Niger as a solution to mitigate the annual disaster. The is coming again. I'm happy that Nandi Daleba almost most of the agencies in Eba. Local governments visited include Ayamelum, Anambra West, and Anambra East Council areas. Still to come in the news tonight, President Buhari jets to London for King Charles III coronation. Russia accuses Ukraine of attempted drone attack in Kremlin. Here's a special message. Governor Chukuma Zoludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Nambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. The news returns after the short break. A peak protein breakfast gets me to a great day. How do I know? Because my daddy goes to his work feeling good and always with a smile. Mommy is always filled with confidence. My sister is always in tune. And for me, learning new things becomes absolute fun. Because all day and every day, the peak goes on. Start your day with a peak protein breakfast peak. Welcome back to the rest of the news. President Mohamed Buhari will depart Abuja for London, United Kingdom to join other world leaders invited to attend the coronation of King Charles III and his wife Camilla as His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen Consort of the United Kingdom respectively today. The special advisor to the President of Media and Publicity, Femi Additional, disclosed in a statement today. The statement says ahead of the coronation, the Commonwealth Secretariat will take advantage of the gathering of leaders in London to go to host a Commonwealth Summit for Presidents and Heads of Government of Commonwealth countries on Friday. He added that the President is built to participate in a summit which will deliberate on the future of the Commonwealth and the role of the youth. 
The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Orca Capital Territory Development Authority, ACTA, Mr. Osio Nuko, says Governor Chukumasoludo is committed in transforming Orca into a livable and prosperous capital city. Speaking at the residence of the Chief of Chief Jonathan in the square of Umuanaga Village, Oka, who organized a thank you ceremony for the Anambrasi government under Professor Chukuma Soludo for all his efforts to develop Oka. Mr. Onuko, who spoke through the Senior Special Assistant to the Governor and Oka Capital Territory Development Authority, Mr. Machuku Obiora, maintained that Oka has been a major beneficiary of development initiatives of Governor Chukuma Soludo and called on the people of the area to continue with his, their support to his administration. Earlier, the traditional ruler of Oka community, Obi Gibson, was charged the people of Oka to always embrace peace and love for sustainable development in the area. Obi Wosu, who spoke through the traditional prime minister of Oka community, Chief Benjamin Okoye, maintained that no meaningful development can take place in an atmosphere of rancor and acrimony. He charged the people of Oka to take full ownership of the community by supporting government programs and policies. In the remark, a representative of Ozoka Society, Chief Okechuko Bora, called on the people to always respect the constituted authorities. The host chief, Jonathan Nzakwe, said that the aim of organizing the ceremony is part of his, his desire to restore the core values of the people of Oka and charge the people to unite in order to attract more government presence. The event attracted representatives of all the 33 villages in Oka community. Women groups, members of Oka Development Union, ADUN, Nigeria, village heads, Oka kingmakers, among others. From the foreign scenes, Russia has accused Ukraine of attempting an overnight drone attack on the Kremlin with the aim of killing President Vladimir Putin. The most dramatic cha charge Moscow has leveled against Kyiv since its war and its neighbor began. The allegation was made today by the Russian government, senior Ukrainian presidential official Mikhail Podolyuk said that Kyiv had nothing to do with the alleged incident. He also said that Russia is clearly preparing a large-scale terrorist attack. That's why it first detained a large, allegedly subversive group in Crimea. And then it demonstrated drones over the Kremlin. Russian officials said that Putin was not in the building at the time and there was no material damage to the Kremlin. Paris Saint-Germain Football Club has, been sus has suspended Argentine superstar Lionel Messi for two weeks over an unauthorized visit to Saudi Arabia. Reports say that Messi has, was suspended with immediate effect for his trip to the Arabian country and everything has been considered by the club for what is described internally as a serious mistake by the football star. Messi, who recently won the World Cup for Argentina, will miss PSG's next two games in Troyes this Sunday and against Ajaccio on Saturday, May 13. Remember that you can follow news and program on ABS TV from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. Go on to subscribe to our YouTube channel at ABS Television OK. You can also join us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And now the main points that made the news again tonight. Governor Soluda has sworn in two new members of State Executive Council. An Umbra State Government has sealed Nabat Hospital, Amansi, over illegal med medical activities. President Buhari has jetted to London for King Charles III coronation. And finally, we told you from the foreign scenes that Russia has accused Ukraine of attempted drone attack in Kremlin. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Nebra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. That's all in the news tonight. My name is Uche Chukwu Ibanam. Good night.